Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Chook here. Chook's Outdoor Adventures. Watch Chook almost die. Every hunt guaranteed. And I finally did it. I finally did it. Got the old SCAR 17S. That's right. The SCAR Heavy. 308, 762 caliber. Um, for me, it doesn't get better than this. It, it does not get better than this. I, I talked about... Um, the Sitka jacket being the Lamborghini of hunting jackets, if I was going to compare that to this, I would say this is the space shuttle, space shuttle of rifles. Um, and not too many people hunt with these, but guess what? This is going to be my main hunting rifle all year, all next season. I am going to hunt mainly bears and caribou, and I will be hunting brown bears with this rifle. And um, I... I so it's, it's new in box, so I'm just getting used to it. You know, I took it apart. It's, the system is totally alien. It's incredible. I, I love it. You know, the impingement system. So I took it apart. Um, had first range day today with Felton. Um, and I'm just kind of getting used to it. Um, wasn't as accurate as I'd like, but we didn't really have a really, um, you know, it wasn't bench shooting. Um, you know, I got on, on target. I was making bullseyes at 100 yards. Um, so I'm already good enough. For hunting, but I want to get more of this. Now, um, I love this Burris PEPR um, mount. I got that, and then I got the E1 uh, full field uh, Burris scope, and I, I just love Burris. I've actually killed 90% of my big game here in Alaska on a Burris scope, um, but this is an incredible weapon. It is so reliable. Um, you know, I can hold 21 rounds of 308 ammo hunting rounds um, in this thing and I, I know it's 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 not going to seize up on me it's, it's you know I'm gonna these, these things have been torture tested and, and you know I'm gonna put a lot of rounds through it too but um, uh, of course it's gonna come up that this is not enough for a grizzly bear but guess what I believe it is the uh, state, of, state of Alaska fishing game in their hunting manual recommends 30-06 for all large game uh, in Alaska, including grizzly bears. Now, hunting guides scoff at that, and they're like, no, you need a 375 H&H, &H, you know, what are you talking about, 30 out 6 But the rationale of fish and game is, well, those those large rounds are okay, but they they give you the flinch, and then you're not accurate. The 30 out 6 you can, you can be more accurate, you, you know, you can hold on target. Uh, it's got less recoil, you're going to be able to hit your target, and it's enough to kill a bear. Well, a 308 is just kind of like a neck down 30 out 6 to me. And with the modern hunting ammo, you know, we've got some really good, you know, hunting rounds for 308 that I think will do just fine. Plus, if I'm even being charged by a grizzly, I've got 21 shots that are reliable um, that, that I can I can take down a grizzly with this. And I think I will. I'm, I'm going to prove it to you next spring when I go back out. Um, if I don't go out, you know, this fall, early winter. Um, but I, I will be hunting with this, and uh, so stay tuned for some hunting adventures uh, with the SCAR 17. For me, it's it's perfect. You know, I, um, I'm just ecstatic. These are very hard to find. The price went up, um, especially here in Alaska. Oh, man, these guys are just uh, dying to get a hold of one of these. And I guarantee after the election in four months, uh, they're going to get even scarcer and the price is going to go way up. And I'm not going to be greedy because this is my new hunting rifle. And, uh, you know, Chook loves hunting with tactical rifles, so I will be hunting with this. Um, I'm not going to do a full review on this because, I mean, what can I say? It's a scar. You've, you've seen all the reviews on this thing. But uh, just my impressions, I'll tell you some of the things that I I don't care for um, as much. They're not that big of a deal. Um, one thing is the charging handle reciprocates. You know, this charging handle goes back and forth. You can, you know, catch your hand. Um, and the only thing I don't like about that is if I have my hand there for some reason because I'm doing a weird shot or I'm leaning against a tree on this side. Small chance of that happening because if I lean against a tree, it's going to be on my right side. But I do have to be mindful of that charging handle. Um, what else? Uh, also, I, I don't like the size of the rear sight. Um, it was a little tricky to mount a scope because it, it's pretty big. It's a lot taller than like a, you know, the Embus sights. Um, so I, I didn't like how tall that was. Um, but that's about it. I, I have no more complaints. It's really light. I mean, super light. Um, you know, just about the light of a, 
you know, really heavy AR and, and it doesn't kick very hard at all and it's a dream to shoot. So stay tuned for more episodes and I'm going to hunt with this thing in Alaska and I think it's going to do great. So thank you YouTube, Chook, your friend in the field. First day shooting with the SCAR-17. It's shooting pretty high all of a sudden.